it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day five of my 2022 Valentine card series. Today I'm going to be making a card using Juan Fawn's You Autumn Know and Love Letters. So I've stamped the images I'll be using on some Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White cardstock with Lawn Fawn Jet Black Ink and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers. For the two little mice, I'm going to color them in some brown tones. I'm starting out with E50 and E51. I use the E51 first to lay in a little bit of shadow and definition on the outside of the body, underside of the arms, around the legs, and then blended that out with the E50. And I also did add a little bit to the belly and the inside of the ears with that E50. And then I'm going to do the same for the second little guy, just starting with that E51 again and um, just shading him in the way that his body is facing. I like to keep the light on the face to just make them look bright and cheerful so you can see all of their adorable features really easily. Then I'm going to add in some details with E53 and E55. So I'm going to uh, use the E55 first and add a little bit more dark color on the ears. I'll also add a little bit of darkness around this first little guy's face. And then I'm going to give him a few little spots and details here and there just to make him look a little bit more unique. And then I'm blending that out with the E53. Uh, came across his right eye a bit and made that side of his face a little bit darker and then I'm just blending out the edges of those little spots and then I'll do the same for the second little guy I just want to do them slightly different so they each you know have their own little personalities there so I'm going to do um, just one of his ears and I'm going to do the left side of his face, but I'm going to do a ring around his right eye and then some more spots down his back and on his arms. So I did all of that with the E55 once again and then blended out the edge of that with the E53. I let that dry for a few seconds and then I went back in with that E55 and added a few spots to just give the fur a little bit of texture. And then I wanted to color the inside of their ears and their noses and give them rosy cheeks. So I used R11 and R20 for that. Just the R20 on their noses, but I did use both shades on the insides of their ears. And then for their cheeks, I'd use the R20 first and then trace around the edge of that with the R11. I also gave them some little pink feet with the R11. And then I wanted to blend that out a bit, so I pulled in R000. And I went around the cheeks with that as well, just to help them fade a bit more into the skin tone. And then I'm going to start coloring in the envelopes. And for this first one, I'm going to do this pale pink combo. I'm adding a bit more shadow to the two side parts because the top and bottom flap would be overlapping and so they would be cast in more shadow on the sides. I'm also creating a shadow down at the bottom of each envelope and around the heart seal. So I did that with the R20 and then began to blend that out with the R11 and then I used the R000 as the highlight shade. So I'm going to do this first envelope and then I'll do the heart seal on the next envelope just to kind of have each one be a little bit of a variety of the tones that I'm going to use. And I did also stamp out two extra envelopes that aren't shown here. Um, I just colored those off to the side because I needed a few more to create a pile. So next I'm moving on to some reds and I went with R22, R24, and R29. I'm going to do the heart seal on the first envelope and then skip over to the third one. And I'm basically shading them all exactly the same. 
they're going to be kind of turned every which way in the pile but uh, I didn't want to shade them in the way that they're facing because I didn't really know where exactly they're going to land on the card later on so I just did them all exactly the same with the deepest shadows on the outer flaps on the two sides and then at the bottom and around that heart seal so I did that with the R29 on this one and then I'm blending out with the R24 and then I'm going to finish with the R22. So one of the ones that I'm doing off to the side is going to be with this combo as well because I wanted two red envelopes since that's one of the main colors in the color palette that I'm working with which you'll see when I get to the background a little bit later on. I also did do a second layer on all of the envelopes off screen uh, that were colored in the darker shades. It really does help smooth out the blend and I think the only ones I didn't do it are the ones that are going to be kind of like vintage toned. Uh, I did the stamp on the front facing letter in these red shades as well and another one of the heart seals just kind of moving to the right down the down the row and then I'm gonna bring in a dark blue combo which is B24, B26, and B29. I wanted the color palette to resemble the colors that are in airmail so it's mainly like the blue and red and then um, I'm using like a vintage shade for the white, which we'll get to later on, but I wanted it to still look like a Valentine card or it could be a Valentine card. So that's why I also added in the pink. And I think that that really tied in nicely to have those paler shades to um, just kind of mix it up a bit. So I didn't have to do all the envelopes in just like red and dark blue and white. So I'm finishing up this one here and then just like I did with the rest I'm going to move up and do a heart seal in this combo as well. I'll just do the one right above that. I started with the B29 and then the B26 and then use the B24 for the highlight. And then I wanted a lighter blue combo as well. So I went with B41, B52, and B45. And this one I'm gonna do the forward facing envelope. So I'm starting at the very bottom. I'm gonna do the shading on this one a bit different since we don't have all the little crisscross of flaps on there. So I added that at the bottom and then blended up with the B52, which is going to be my mid-tone. And then I'm going to fill in the top part with the B41. And I did do a second layer on this envelope as well, just to smooth out that blend and make everything really nicely saturated. And, um, you know, it's a smooth surface. It's an envelope, so we don't really want, you know, too much texture showing. I did the top heart seal on the envelope there and then I moved on to some white envelopes but like I mentioned I wanted it to be more of like a vintagey cream color so I chose E40, E41, and E42. For this first one I started with the E42 and laid in my shadows and then blended those out with the E41. Just working back over the edge of that E42 to make sure that I am dragging that color into the mid-tone and then doing the same with the E40, dragging that mid-tone into the lightest. And then I didn't want them all to be identical though, so for the next one I actually skipped the E42 and started with the E41. I actually had the E40 by accident. Um, but I wanted to start with the E41, so I just switched that and then blended that out with the E40 and left the white cardstock to be the highlight. 
And for the last one, I decided to do a super pale pink. So I started with the R00 for the darkest, and I'm going to blend that out with the R000. And just like with the previous one, I'll leave the white cardstock showing as the highlight shade. And I used that same combo on the last heart seal on the red envelope. And then I am going to trim all of these images out with their matching dies. So to create the airmail stripes, I'm going to use the Peppermint Stripes Backdrop. And I die cut that out of some speckled eggshell cardstock and also out of some chili pepper cardstock. So I popped all of the inner pieces out of the speckled eggshell piece because I just wanted the frame. And I'm going to adhere that down to a Blue Jay card base. And I did create a standard size card for that. So it's four and a quarter wide by five and a half tall with top fold. And I'm going to add some liquid glue to the back. And I want to make sure that I glue down all of the little striped pieces as well. So everything lays flat. And then when I nestle the other pieces in, it'll all just fit together seamlessly like a puzzle. So I'm going to glue that to my card front and make sure that it is lined up on there nice and straight. And in the past, when I created backgrounds with this peppermint stripe backdrop, I filled in the small stripe with a different contrasting color. For this one, I wanted to switch it up and use the wider stripe instead. So I'm just adding a little bit of liquid glue down in that little well that is created, just doing a couple at a time. And then I will grab the red stripes and fit them into those spaces. And I'm just going to keep working my way from the bottom right corner toward the top left and making sure that everything is really nicely pressed into that glue so it all lays flat and will be nice and seamless when I send it out to a recipient. So I'm just gonna finish with these last few stripes and you can now see how that pattern is coming together. It really does resemble what I remember airmail looking <laughs> like when I was a kid. So I don't know, does airmail even still exist? But I think it is something like nostalgic. A lot of people still remember it even if it doesn't exist anymore. So there you can see that backdrop and you can save the other parts and create another card if you want to. Then I'm going to take another piece of that speckled eggshell cardstock and die cut that with the zigzag rectangle stackables to kind of resemble a postage stamp. So that is going to be my focal panel. I'm going to stamp my sentiment in the top right corner using deep sea ink and I'm using the one that says sending smiles. So I wanted this card to easily be used for Valentine's Day, but also it could be for any occasion if you didn't end up sending it out in time. I'm also going to do an insert for the inside of the card using the small stitch rectangle stackables. And I did that in the speckled eggshell as well, just to make sure everything matched nicely. And so I'm doing another little mouse with a little kind of swirly mark to make it look like he's being pulled in the wind and a little message to say I love you. And then I'm adding one of the envelopes into his hand as well as if it's so big that it just kind of lifted him up into the air. So now I'm ready to start assembling. I'm going to take that insert and glue that to the inside of my card. It's going to leave a nice blue border on the outside edge and it has that nice stitch detail that I just think make, looks really polished. And then I'm going to add some foam tape to the back of my focal panel so that I can pop it up and have some dimension on the card. So I'll just peel off those release papers, line that up in the center, and then press that down into place. And now I'm ready to start adding my images. I want to make sure that I have everything spaced correctly. So I'm going to lay everything out a bit before I start adhering anything down, kind of see what I want to be overlapping and 
you know, once I'm happy with a row, then I can start gluing that into place. Um, I just want to work my way up toward that mouse so that everything kind of um, positions him right where I have him now, right below that sentiment. I also want to make sure that I don't have um, like two of the same darker colored envelopes right up next to each other. So I'm being careful to just space the red, the blue, and the darker pink like away from each other. So then I'm gonna uh, leave a little gap toward the bottom of the pile for this second mouse to be kind of just frolicking in the love letters that are being sent out. I imagine that these guys are kind of maybe working at the post office after hours and sorting the mail and uh, you know thinking that they're being really helpful. <laughs> So once I have the last, you know, um, envelopes that are facing backwards on there, I will add my little mouse to the top and then he's going to be holding the front facing letter. So I'm just adjusting those letters really quick to make sure that um, they're ending up where I want them to be. And then I'm going to have that letter uh, in his hand, but kind of tucked behind his ear because I didn't want it to be overlapping that. So that is going to finish off the pile. I did want to add a few extra hearts on here just so that it really could be, you know, more of like a Valentine card. So I'm adding five little hearts that I am stamping in bubblegum ink and that tiny heart is from the Love Letters stamp set. And then to add a bit of glitter, I'm going to use my favorite Stardust Stickles and I'm going to add it to all of those little heart seals so that they will be nice and sparkly. So I'm just gonna um, put it on those and then for the final letter, I'm gonna add it to the postage stamp. So this one could definitely be Valentine's Day, but it could also be like an anniversary card or a just because a love card, because it doesn't actually say Valentine's Day, but it definitely says I love you and has lots of hearts on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I post new ones every Monday and Friday. If you're interested in any of these products, I'll have them listed and linked for you in the description bar below the video. And if you'd like to keep watching, here is day five of the previous two years of Valentine card series. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.